welcome to episode one of seven for these NIMBY Rails tutorials. Um, today is the um, basic information and setting up. First things first, as this is a Steam game, of course you cannot access your taskbar. Um, you cannot access the taskbar um, from NIMBY Rails um, without pressing the Windows bar, which will then bring everything up. You can then use um, bits as you wish um, but if you have a second monitor um, taskbar will still be on there etc um, this is the um, screen you'll be greeted with as you come in and you join the game for the first time uh, these are your options down here you can continue your your last saved game um, obviously the first time you join um, that is not going to be an existing button you will that will come about once you save your game um, new game, um, create a new game, or to load a previously saved game, which wasn't the last one. Um, multiplayer, you can join games or host games, and then there are options and credits. So options just have auto saving, alerts, um, we'll get into alerts um, in the final episode. Um, but you can make map names, priority English or native, default hand file if you're needing that. Um, language um, auto export I don't know what that means but whether you want it to auto save or not that sort of thing graphics I don't understand any of this but I'm sure it makes sense to people keybinds for moving that sort of thing um, again you will sort of get to know why you need the keybinds in future episodes and then it's sort of down to you to just come back and change them as you wish so yeah and then uploader I believe is to um, upload mods maybe that sort of thing and that's the options and then the credits are just credits for everybody that's dug it um, so we're now first going to be looking at single player games um, so, so loading a new game, you can come into here, um, and here are all of my saved games. Um, so, Tubes Trains is the one we're going to be using today. But to create a new game, all you've got to come in here is um, select this, um, select new game, and then you get a company name. You can change it, or you can make your own company name. And you can also toggle whether you have unlimited money. I just accidentally tried the game. Um, toggle whether you want unlimited money or not. Um, unlimited money is easier and for more freestyle. But if you want to have a game that actually makes money and you want to have a profitable train company, that sort of thing, then you can select unlimited money. And then the other thing is mods. Um, so most um, trains, especially in the UK, most trains have mods in here. There are also mods for platforms, that sort of thing, we'll get into that. Um, but any mods um, that you want to get, you can enable all, install, all installed mods, or just enable certain mods for this specific game that you've got. And then if you don't have any mods or you want mo different mods, you can subscribe to new mods um, and it will come up into the Steam Workshop. Um, and then you just click start game. We're going to load up this game, uh, load up Tube Trains. Okay, so we've loaded up the game and we're now greeted with a world map. Um, your date and time can be found at the top, as well as speed up and slow down buttons, and also your um, number of people riding your railway at the moment now as this was um, created before today um, it was created on Wednesday May the 25th um, I've not sped it forward enough to get up to today but it will it will um, the date and time start will be in Greenwich Mean Time when you start it it might be which summertime or not anyway
For this example, we are going to be using leads. Where's leads up here? Um, so on the map, um, you've got some basic labels. Um, I've also got some odd things like parks and schools and libraries are labelled. Um, no road labels, so if you wanted to name a station after a road, say, you'd have to look that up. Um, but most areas are given pretty um, accurate names in here. So up in the left on the right hand side, sorry, uh, we have got the main menu which gives you this again. Quick start guide, I'm not entirely sure myself. Um, but to save the game when you're done is you just save the game, uh, click save game and then you can all, uh, either call it that or something else if you want to have it like as a repeat or something like that. Just click save and then that will be available to you afterwards. All the other options are to quit, the options of credits are available again or just to return to the game. Next one is the search icon which will come up a lot more important when you have lots and lots of routes, lots and lots of lines, lots and lots of trains, lots and lots of stations. Nice and easy to find things. Next up, mods. So again, you subscribe to new mods um, up here and then all the mods that are in the game. I have got a awful, awfully large amount of mods except for that one. Maybe that one. Um, but yes, and then we can also, if we click on a certain mod, so the class 47, we can see the name, version, author, source, description, that sort of thing. Um, next up we have company accounting and info. So info, company name, track segment, building station lines. Um, passenger demand factor and passenger AI at stations. It's a bit confusing but I'll get to that later in a different video. Tags I am not familiar with myself um, so we'll just ignore that. It's not overly important that sort of thing. Tags it's just a grouping way. Here you'll be able to toggle station lines and trains to see um, profit um, and a bunch of other things. This will be in the last video, which will be quite a long video, I think. Um, but you can see new passengers at the station in the day, week, month, quarter, or year, or lifetime. You can see total passengers, capacity, capacity percentage used. Um, again, all of these will be a lot more important later on. This is the most important one, it's the map options tab. Here you can toggle regions, regions lay, um, excuse me, um, regions um, layer or population layer. This one is important um, because you do not want to put a station here because you will get about two population. You get two people that are going to use that station out of those two people not going to be very friendly whereas in places such as Birmingham that sort of thing obviously you've got more people from the trains we've also got plane tracks and then we can do a lines overlay so you can see where all the lines go we don't have any lines even in Newcastle um, we don't have any lines um, speed overlay so you can see the speed of the lines or well, track reservations I think have something to do with where trains are going we also have map labels so you can toggle the labels on and off, user labels, um, I'm not sure what they are, signals and the signal light cones are for signalling, we'll talk about that in the signalling video, station events, station icons, station names, platform names we've spoken about in the platforms video, train counters, train icons, tunnels under roads um, will all be covered in future episodes as well. You can also toggle different layers of track to be turned on and off, so viaduct 1 viaduct 2, viaduct 3, viaduct infinite, that sort of thing. Um, it just makes it easier, easier to see but that will all be covered in the next video. Um, on the other side you have the info tab, you then have the tracks, um, we will ignore this mostly. Um, you have build tracks, branches, the stations, 
create um, buildings, which will be uh, its own station video, um, depots, and then these are the signaling um, tabs here. We then have the lines tab, so you can create new lines where they go, that sort of thing. And then the trains tab where you can timetable trains, buy new trains, all of that. This will all be covered in one video, lines and trains. Tracks will be covered in a separate video. Um, but pretty much that is all to the basic um, bits, of course. Um, w, A, S and D to move around, uh, scroll wheeling out or I think it's Q and E. Otherwise, um, obviously you can speed your game up. If it gets to a certain point, you just can't um, see anything. Um, because it would be too laggy, that sort of thing. But you, you the whole world is your oyster in this game. Um, but yes, please do be sure if you haven't already to watch part two. It will be um, premiering at 5.30 on the 31st of May. No, um, 1st of June, 2022. Um, so make sure to be ready for that. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. And the next video will be covering building of tracks um, now I'm not going to be covering stations in that video that will be a completely separate thing as there's quite a lot of things to do with stations um, yes thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye